It's time for another Fusion 360 and 3D printing tutorial. We are back at it again today. I told you we would take a look at this create form. So let's do that. All we need to do, we don't need to pick a plane or start a sketch. We're going to click directly on that. And it is going to bring us to another window. You can see all of our other toolbars have disappeared. And we now have these options right here. Now these are planar and facial options for changing things. So basically what we're going to do is add a box. Um, and at that point, we'll have to select a plane, and it doesn't matter. I think we'll do the bottom plane, um, and then it's going to say rectangle type. So we're going to draw a rectangle just like we're making a sketch. It is a center rectangle, so you click the center of where you want the box to be, and then you can go ahead and set your dimensions. So let's make this 100 by 100. Get a nice square. And here we have our initial item. So... Well, what can we do with this? Let's take a look at some of the options we have for manipulating this mesh. The first one I want to show you is modify. So if I hit modify under edit form, it's going to allow me to select a T-spline entity. And what it means by that is either a face or a line or a point. In this case, I'm going to select two faces here by using the shift key. And I'm just going to drag them upward. And as I rotate around here, you can see what's happening. It's pulling the center of those two faces upward and slightly pulling the points of those two faces upward depending on their tang tangency to the next line. So what that means is this curve, since this surface is pretty flat, this curve is a lot more shallow. Since there's an angle here, this curve is a little bit more steep. There are a lot of other options for things that we can do like this. We're gonna go ahead and hit okay because I don't mind that transform. I think it's all right. Um, I do wanna hit modify. And I want to grab this face and move it in. Um, let's do 20, so it's a little bit more obvious. Okay, um, I can hit OK. Then I can grab this face, and we can do the same thing, except I'm going to do negative 20. And there are ways to do this symmetrically. I'm just showing you kind of the basics here. So you can see we have this funky shape. And what we're going to do from this point is we're going to go ahead and... Go back into modify here and we're looking at all of the options for modifying the stuff that we have what we're going to do is subdivide because i want to add extra lines although i already had that face selected so that was a mistake um, i want to unselect that face and all i have to do is hit the x there and what i want to select are these faces And unfortunately, it's making me do one at a time. So what I want to see if I can do this. There we go. So if you pre-select them and then hit subdivide, it will let you subdivide more than one at a time. The best practice is, though, in order to keep everything the same size, uh, so everything flows a little bit better, is to select everything and then subdivide. That will give you more triangles, more polygons, all that stuff. Um, but it does give you a lot more points to work with than to a certain point. That is perfectly fine. So I want to take this time, I want to grab this point right here. No, in fact, I want to grab this line. And I'm going to grab it, the first two here. And we're going to move those to right there. Let's do 30. And then we'll do the same thing with the other side with a negative value. And we're just kind of keeping things symmetrical. Not really making anything in particular here, but you should see um, basically what's going on and get the gist of it. So now I have this strange figure here. Um, and I'm going to grab this point and this point. Uh, and bring them up like that. And at this point, we can also, this is the scale, okay? Um, this arch right here. So uh, it gives us some nice funky, funky ear looking things. That's okay. Uh, and then let's grab this and move it to oh, nope, I hit the wrong thing. 
God for Control Z. Uh, we're gonna hit OK here, and then I will hit Modify again uh, because I don't want to mess up what I've been doing. That works pretty well, um, but I'm not getting really what I want because my resolution isn't fine enough. So we're gonna hit Cancel, and we're gonna select the whole model again, and subdivide. Now you could just go and subdivide it a bunch of times, uh, but I wouldn't recommend doing that. You kind of want as few polygons as possible, and the way to do that is to kind of keep them uh, minimalized. So only subdivide if you need to, uh, to save yourself time printing later, and not only that, but also coming up with uh, memory and stuff like that. So uh, I'm going to hit cancel one more time. Still not getting the effect I want. So what I can do is go to finish form. Okay, so it's telling me edges or faces may be crossing. Um, and that is these lines right here. I made them go in too far. So there is an easy fix for that. Uh, we'll close this. And we will select... Actually, let's do it with the whole squares just so we know we get the whole thing and not the wrong lines. Uh, modify. We'll just scale them down so it pulls them in. So you can see those lines that were crossing over each other are now back to where they need to be. Hit OK there. And now I should be able to exit form. There we go. And I have my model right here. Okay, these are my basic faces. Uh, so, now what I can do is go in and I can sketch on one of them. Um, since they're not flat, it's going to let me select it and then it's going to put it kind of behind there. So when I try to draw this sketch, I'm going to have problems. So I'm actually going to hit finish sketch. And for this, I'm going to use an offset plane. I want to make sure that it's out past the side of the face here uh, so it's grabbable. It doesn't need to be all the way out past it. I'm only going to be grabbing this part right here, so as long as it's past there, it should be good. And we're going to rotate. We're going to sketch right on that plane. And... Um, and guys, this is real quick. I know this isn't the best model. I'm just kind of the form started to take a shape to me So I'm kind of uh, playing around with that shape to get see if we can get something that's kind of at least aesthetically pleasing as we work here uh, Let's do that. Let's just put a hole right through it um, So now uh, our cat like thing has eyes <laughs> Very very simple figure as I said um, but very organic as well with the flowing shapes. Now, if I were to take a lot more time and put a lot more detail into this, I would be able to do a lot more. But uh, once I change that form to a solid, I'm not able to manipulate it anymore. I can do uh, some other things. Basically, let's try real quickly adding in our own face. So if we go to here, um, it's going to give us the front plane. And here we have our face. Uh, there are a couple of ways that you can do this. Um, edge mode is set to edge. There we go. So basically, you can select an edge, draw it out, draw two points, select an edge, draw it out, draw two points. You can do this um, to make the polygons for the form that you want to deform. So this is kind of like sketching for the form mode. Um, and there are other manipulations you can make as well, and you don't have to start with the cube. There's a cylinder and a ball as well. There is a torus in here. There is a plain plane. And then there are also extrude and revolve options, just like we used in the sketch mode, uh, and they are pretty much exactly the same. So let's go ahead and hit cancel. We don't actually need this. I'm going to hit finish form. It's going to give it to me anyway. We're just going to delete the polygons it gives us. Um, and this little guy is going to go bye bye as well i really have no desire to print it but it was a pretty cute little model and a good quick first look at the forms mode i think we'll play around with this some more in some future videos i just wanted to make you aware it was there 
so you aren't uh, banging your head against the keyboard later wondering why I showed you all of these other options before I showed you the probably simplest way to make a quick less detailed model. If you, you can make things that are very detailed using this mode, um, but it will take a little bit more time than just sketching and extruding. And it's a little bit harder to tell your exact dimensions than it is when you are doing the normal solid mode. That's going to be it for this video, guys. We will have a couple more of these videos coming up in the next few days, although I do have a couple other videos that aren't CAD tutorials in the works. So if you're interested, stick around for those as well. But if you'd like to see the CAD videos, make sure you hit that notification bell down below so you can be notified every time I post one. This playlist is up to five videos as of today, and we plan to keep adding to it. If there's any particular features that you would like to see or that you're curious about, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Don't hesitate to ask. And as always, you can jump over to the Discord channel. I will put a link to that down below as well, allowing you to enter and ask questions. There are a lot of helpful people on there, and we're developing quite a nice little community. Although I will say some of the boys are kind of raucous, but we tend to get along, and it's kind of entertaining, really. I've seen some pretty interesting stuff on there. There's some really nice prints going on on there. There's some, some CAD advice and things like that, so if this is helpful to you, there's a specific thread about CAD tutorials on the Discord, and not just my CAD tutorials, but other resources as well for learning CAD to do 3D printing. So definitely worth giving it a check, guys, and I'm going to say Technivorous out. We'll see you in the next one, guys. And that's going to be it, guys. Thanks for stopping by. If you'd like to become a Technivore, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And YouTube's suggesting a video for you right here. And there's a playlist right here that's just 3D printing stuff. Also, if you'd like to see your name up top with the rest of my Patreon supporters, head over to www.patreon.com.